All right, today I'm going to be doing um, cabin air filter replacement in a 2002 Honda Civic Si. Um, this should be the same, I believe, on the other Civics. I'm not 100% sure, so, you know, don't take that as gospel. Um, this is going to be for sure for the 2002 to 2005 um, EP3 hatchback Si versions. And these are the two filters here. This is what the new ones look like. I got these online. Um, they're about 6 bucks on eBay. You can get them at any auto parts store as well, but they're like 20 some bucks where I saw, so I figured I'd just order them online for the price. Okay, so you basically just go over here to the passenger side, open the glove box, take out all your rubbish, and there's going to be on the sides here these little clips here that stop it from opening all the way, so put your finger behind here, push it, you'll hear a click, and then pull this guy out. There looks like there should be another one over here, but Obviously somebody's fondled this car before, so yeah. And it's open, and then I'll show you the clip up here in a sec. Okay, so now that you got the glove box open, you'll see up here there's this little tab here. Back here is the housing for it, so you go ahead and just push this tab up, and you kind of pull out, and this guy pops off. Okay, so now with that cover off, you can see here there's two of them side by side, one here, one here. Obviously, you can only take out the one at a time, so pull out the first guy here. And it's not horribly filthy, there's a leaf in it, but there's the first one is out. And the other one here, you just slide it over to the side and pull it out as well. Not really too filthy, actually, but I'm changing these out because the car kind of smells funny, so... Hoping this kind of helps that. All right, here's a side by side of the two. Um, they're these are new here, though they fit. They're the right size. You can see that that one. I don't know what the hell happened there, but it's looking pretty filthy. Looks like maybe somebody put dryer sheets in there to help it smell better. Yeah, so apparently that's a thing. Um, but yeah. All right, so to replace them, obviously you just pull the old one out here. Flop it to the side, new one and not a whole lot to it. A uh, child could do this, so. There you go, and then we're just gonna put them back in the car now. Okay, and then to put this this bad boy back in, you just kinda get the get this past the hole over here, and then you insert it here, and then you press in, you hear it clip in, and you let go, you're good to go. Obviously you would do the same over here if you had one. I don't know if this car had one that's just missing, or if this car just didn't come with one, whatever. But there you go. Super easy job. That's all there is to it.